Ladies and gentlemen, there's the Toastmaster. Toastmaster, and, and welcome guests. Who doesn't want more? Right? Everybody wants more. I want what? More money. Who wants more money? Raise your hand. Sure. <laughs> more time. Yeah, money, time. More energy. Who doesn't want more energy? Oh my gosh. Everybody wants more. We gotta have more, 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 more. It is really all about your preference. How about more understanding? How about more awareness? So there is more out there. That's what I'm trying to tell you today. There's more out there. So much more. Science tells us that there are many different kinds of energies out there. And we, some we can't even see. We don't even really know about. Let's take, for instance, radio waves. You ever seen one of those? Nope. How about a gamma ray? Maybe because we haven't seen them doesn't mean that they don't exist. Science is always trying to tell us what's going on. However, science and spirituality are meeting together and it's called a new age. A new age of understanding. And now you see more and more people looking at different ways to express their energy. There's energy workers, there's energy healers. There's all kinds of different types of modalities to help individuals themselves, to help them help others. So for instance, there's, there's Qigong, there's Re Reiki, Reiki, whatever. Reiki, there we go. Right, right. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Ricky, don't lose that number. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, so there's all these different modalities. There's acupuncture. There's all these things, and now they're starting to be taken in, you know, by the mainstream medical profession. So science is really adopting some of these things that before were like in the woo-woo area. In fact. Acupuncture is one that they actually, you know, use at, as an alternative. But, you know, there's many different kind of energies that we're going to talk about, and there's so much more out there we're talking about. So let's talk about what science says and what, there was a funny little guy, German born, he has got really crazy hair, and he created all this different kind of science called quantum physics. He was a physician. And he, he came up with the, the quotient E equals MC squared. Anybody know what that means? Energy times mass times the speed of light. So he was trying to put that in a formula, which he actually proved. So he had a theory. And then science proved it. How, how does science do that? It has to be reproduced at least two or three times before it becomes a real scientific fact. So energy's out there. Everything's made of energy. This is made of energy. That's made of energy. You're made of energy. Everything is energy. And we want more energy, right? So why don't we have this little demonstration of energy that I want you to participate in. And we're going to go through what I call the five element qigong to balance your body energy. I want you all to stand up. How much space do we need, Jim? Not too much. <laughs> well, actually, an, enough, uh, a, a little bit so that you don't knock it each other because you're going to be using your arm. Okay, so here's how it starts really quickly so we can move through this. I want you to start breathing with your belly. Push it out. You know how to breathe with it. So push your belly out, that's how you're going to breathe, okay? And we're going to do three breaths, and then we're going to move into the next phase of the exercise. So first, let's honor our own spirit. And just follow me now. I 
shoes, but she's just been reading the camera. <laughs> Now, who felt some energy in that exercise? Who felt energy? Some of you felt the energy. So this is energy that you already have. This is energy that you need to cultivate. This is the more I'm talking about. You have this inner energy, and it's part of everything else. So you become balanced with the energy, and you become lighter. You become more aware. You become, you have more. And you can continue to follow and find your own energy patterns and who you are energetically. Because we're all energy, right? And wouldn't you like to know where that energy comes from? Who, want, who would like to know where that energy comes from? It's very easy. If you sit down and are silent and find a quiet spot, you'll find out where that energy comes from. And when you do find that out, it should start you on a path where you want to find out more about that energy, and what you can do with that energy. Listen, all these athletes, do you think they know about energy? All of these Olympians, do they tap into that energy? We're talking about the inner fire. You've heard it talked about in many, many ancient texts and many, many business coaches speaking people, everybody wants energy. Have you ever heard about negative energy? Nobody wants that. <laughs> Positive energy though, we want that. So my challenge for you today, ladies and gentlemen, human souls, is to find out where you sit and where that energy resides so that you can tap into that energy anytime. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.